What's up guys, it's Misha with Winnie Designs and today I'm going to show you one of the coolest things that you could do with tile and it's miter in your tile. Basically make it meet at a 45 just like this and give it a really nice beautiful look. If done right, you could miter your curbs as well. Like if you take a look here, you can uh, miter your curbs as well. It's just really pretty how you can get those veins continuing over. And again, if done right, it can be just as strong as putting Schluter strips here or anything like that. There are a few tricks to it. There's just simple steps you have to follow. It's really not as hard as it looks, but before we dive right into it, I wanna make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, because we're gonna be putting out videos like this every single week on how to build and tile out a beautiful bathroom from start to finish, gut to flush. That sounds legit. All right, guys, so let's get into it. All right, guys, so we have our piece of tile here. We have this one, and then this is the piece that we're going to be mitering into. Here's how I mire. I honestly have only been doing this for a couple of months, so I'm not your, your pro pro guy. But what I do is I try to get a 16th of an inch line, probably right there. You don't want to go all the way to the finished edge because it will chip. So I'm gonna, going to try to make that cut with my grinder. Basically, first thing I do is I put my I put my finger right here. You have to have a guard for this because it helps you stabilize stabilize it. I'll come in like this and I'll just score it at first. I'll just come in and I'll score it. And you want to leave like eighth of an inch, maybe just a little bit less of the you know of that meat on there. So you're gonna score it first, and then you're going to plunge it and then make your miter. But as you're plunging it, keep the pressure away from the finished edge. If you if you pressure like this, you could chip it. But if you pressure it down more, then it chips out to the bottom and you'll see that happening as well. So once we make that, we're gonna polish it and I'll show you how to do that as well. If you're just learning this and doing this first time, make sure you practice on a scrap piece of tile before you touch any of your actual tile because it does take a little bit of practice to get this figured out. But once you do, it's actually pretty uh, easy and you don't have to do the pencil mark or anything like that. So make sure, again, that you're practicing on a scrap piece and not on your actual piece that's going to be um, your actual piece in, inside the shower or whatever. All right, so now we're going to use our polishing pad. I'm using 50 grit. This one's kind of old. New ones work a little bit better. But I'm going to then clean up this edge and get a little bit tighter. But you still, again, want to leave a little bit of meat on there because you don't want to just come very perfect and then it will chip. So uh, now we're going to clean it up. I'm going to keep cleaning this with my uh, sponge to make it a little bit wetter so I can see better. So I use polish serve pads and they're just going to get attached on your grinder just like this. And uh, just work it back and forth. As you work it, you can feel any humps that are there. So you clean them up and it's done. All right, so that's our first miter edge. So that's how you do it. Now we're gonna do the next piece and then we're gonna go and install it. And I'll show you the key to installing it correctly so it doesn't chip, all right? So follow me there. All right, so we're here in our shower. We got these first two rows set. Uh, duct tape really helps a lot. But basically my process is I'm going to back butter my wall and then trial out my tile. Uh, I just like doing it that way better, so I don't know. All right, so now we're gonna trial out our tile. I just use a half inch because I need to be able to fit my shower door, so that's what I use. And you could use a three quarter inch uh, Unix trial as well, but this will work for me. All right, so I applied my uh, directional trowel this way, so then when I put it on the wall, I can just move it up and down to collapse the ridges. If I did it this way, there's no way I can move it side to side because it's kind of tight. So that's why I did it this way. Quick level master leveling clips here. 
just to make sure that I have no lippage or anything like that. It does help to, um, uh, all right. It does help when we put it on, flop it on. So one, two, bananas. Okay, push it, line up your edges here. And then remember those ridges that I talked about. Those ridges now will collapse when we go, when we go like, I got myself one of these suction cup tools. So I'll grab that. And then I should be able to. Okay, now push it down and let it come down on there. Woo! Okay. Line this up. Then we'll clean this up in a second. I guess we'll do it now. Um, so this right here, I'm going to absolutely make sure that there's no gap there. And then also I'm going to get extra thin set and just put it in here. I want my grout joint to be filled with thin set so that tomorrow we'll just clean it out a little bit to get the grout in. But I want to make sure that that back edge, that the edge of the tile, you see right through here? If you, you can see that that entire edge is filled with um, your thin set. So then it's nicely supported. So when I put on my next piece, it should be oozing out. And then we'll just clean it up. So let's do our next piece. I'm going to put it right here. You know how I said on the other side that you can flop it? You know, just kind of pull it back and smack it. Don't do it on this side because you don't want the miters to hit. So gently going to press it in and raise it up. Like so, let it come down, like so, okay. So we're going to fill in that miter with our thin set, and then we're going to sponge it all out and clean it all up tomorrow, but we just want to make sure that the whole back side of that is filled up. Okay, grab our sponge. Clean that up. Here, come in a little closer. Um, see that? Really nice. All right, now I gotta. Now I gotta play with a little bit of duct tape and then get this, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. And I'll tell you how much we charge for something like this. So I have a piece of towel with me just to make sure that the tile is nice and dry for when I do use my duct tape. And the duct tape is really just to hold that corner nice and tight and uh, with that wedge. So basically the wedge separates it and then the duct tape puts it together. So then it's nice and tight. And then once it dries up, it's true. All right, guys, so see the duct tape helps that corner stay tight. And then these little wedges make sure that there's a gap. You have to leave the gap there. Because tomorrow we're going to come in here with a little fine tool. We're going to scratch out some of that thin set just so we can put the grout in there and make that color in, inside that, uh, that grout line. But look how sick this looks. Um, this has to be perfectly level for us because we are putting a shower door on here. So perfectly flat and perfectly plumb is what we got here. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful work. Anytime that we're doing miters inside our shower we're charging 35 dollars a square foot for all our shower walls um, it's really not that hard to do you just got to kind of figure out your touch with your grinder and the the more you do it the better you get at it and with the bigger tiles it's a little bit harder uh, once you get to the smaller ones 12 or 24 tile that's easy so definitely practice it it just looks beautiful and if you fill it like this there's no way it's going to chip i am going to make a really cool battle video between Schluter um, edges and uh, miter edges and we're going to test it out but that's going to be in a couple weeks so make sure that you subscribe hit the notification bell because um, we're going to put out one of those thank you guys so much have a good one